Hey guys, I have a trick here that will make your implicit differentiation so much simpler. And this actually isn't something that you'll learn until you take Calc 3, so this makes it all more powerful for you if you're in a first semester calculus class. So let's say you want to take the implicit derivative of this function here. It would be a pain probably, because you'd have to do like a product rule and then deal with trigs and logs. Well, it's going to be a mess. So I'm going to show you an easy way to do it. First thing you want to do, you want to move everything to one side of the equation. So I'm just going to subtract the log x over to the left hand side. I'll just look like this. So we want it set equal to zero. Now here's the trick. The answer, so the derivative of this function with respect to y, I might call that y prime, and I'm just going to be able to write this answer in one line. It's minus, and it's going to be a big fraction. Now on the top, we're going to take the derivative with respect to x. So what that means is every derivative I take, y is going to be treated like a constant. Okay? So let's look at this first term. The derivative of x squared y. Normally that'd be a product rule, but if y was a constant, if y was like 2, the derivative would just be 2x times the constant, right? So the derivative with respect to x here is just 2x times y, and that's it. Sine of y, well, if y is being treated like a constant in this situation, the derivative of a constant is 0. So I'm just not even going to write that part. And then it's minus the derivative of the natural log x. Well, we know what that is by now. That's just 1 over x. So if you haven't seen that before, the derivative of the natural log x is 1 over x. On the bottom, I do the same thing, but for y. I'm going to take the derivative of y, treating x like a constant. So here in this first part, if this was just 5y, the derivative would just be 5 right? A constant times a variable, the derivative is just the constant. So the derivative of x squared y, treating y like a constant, is just x squared. Here I can take the derivative normally, since it's just in terms of y. The derivative of minus sine y, that's minus cosine y. The derivative of sine is cosine. And ln x, well, if, if it's just a function of x, and I'm taking the derivative with respect to y, x is a constant. So the derivative of ln x is zero in this case. And hey, that's actually my answer right there. I didn't have to do any algebra at all. Um, so this is way, way simpler than doing the old way where you do a product rule and multiply by dy over dx and then move everything to one side and factor and divide. This will save you so much time. So this is actually taking advantage of what are called partial derivatives. You don't usually learn this until Calc 3. So if you do this on a test, okay, you'll get the right answer, but I'm not so certain that this is what your teacher wants, you to, see, wants to see. Right, so what I would recommend is use this to get the answer and to check your work. Still do it the way you're taught in class, but this is a really, really nice way of making sure you're correct and getting to the right answer fast. I hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck using this tip and have a great day.